I just want to do a quick video of how to create drawings and apparel flats on Adobe Illustrator. So we're just opening up a new document. You go to file, open a new document. You can open up an eight and a half by 11 document. You can have the height be 11 inches or you can have the width be 11 inches. I have it the width to be 11 inches. And then you can zoom in and out and the shortcut is command plus or command minus or you can go on the top menu and select view then zoom in zoom out i also prefer my workspace to be all white instead of the gray background or i go to view then over print preview and it creates then the whole canvas is all white so before we start, I'll just do a quick overview of how to use the pen tool. You can click on the left toolbar to do a outline. So before you start, if you're creating a shape like a triangle, you can pick the color of the outline. If you look in the toolbar, you can choose a color for your outline. So you can go on the left, you can go in the toolbar and click the pen tool, or you can use the push the P, the letter P key. Adobe Illustrator is just basically creating shape, like a square, but you do it point by point. You'll just mouse click each point one by one. You can create a curve by clicking on the mouse and holding, moving the mouse around to adjust the shape of the curve. To get rid of the handles on the anchor, you just use the option key, click on the anchor or the last point, so then you click with your mouse and then you can close the shape. When you want to fill your shape, you can choose what color by clicking on the icon in the toolbar. And then to remove the color from your shape or remove the fill, you click on the red bar icon. And then you can um, go back and forth without clicking on the fill and outline. You can use a shortcut and just and push X, it'll uh, toggle between, it'll toggle between outline and fill. You can also um, change the, the width of your outline, like you can make it really thin or you can make it really thick. And you do that by going to the stroke toolbar and then you change the weight. And then also you can um, click on your points, the white arrow in the toolbar on the top right, the direct selection tool click on each corner or each point and you can adjust it and move it around i'm going to create a drawing of a jacket by just tracing images of clothing so we can just go on google and then we can search jacket and then you can click on images click on tools and then you can choose the size of the image and i normally choose like a large because i want a higher resolution image so it's not pixelated and blurry we're gonna go with this ysl motorcycle jacket so basically you can um, open the image in a new window and then you can just drag it into your illustrator file you can resize the image by holding shift click and drag the mouse make the image proportioned if you don't hold the shift button the image will be distorted before i trace this jacket i like make it transparent so it's easier to trace click on the transparency go to up to opacity and choose 50 percent then the next thing i like to do i like to lock the layer so we won't be able to move it while we trace it you don't want the picture moving around Then you open up a new layer, so the new layer icon. Before we start, you should go in the toolbar and select the outline tool. So I'm choosing a red color. When you start tracing the picture, you don't need to draw the whole thing. You can just draw half of it and then you can just copy and paste the other half of the jacket. So you won't have to spend hours drawing. So we'll just go point by point. Like I said, when there's a curve, you just click and then move the mouse left or right to adjust the curve so you just go around the whole jacket to remove the anchor handles you just hold the option key and click on the point and also don't forget to save your file you can do command s or you can go file save 
so just go all the way around the jacket and then you close the point everything else from this point on is pretty much everything is like a puzzle piece so in this example the square it has a it has a triangle shape within it so the first thing you would do is trace the the square first now you're left with the triangle instead of drawing the whole triangle and trying to make it fit you can just draw the triangle inside the square so you would just draw the the part of the triangle that's inside the square and then everything around it you don't really have to trace what's outside of the square and the reason you do this is because you want it to because if you trace it it might not match perfectly but when you use the pathfinder tool it makes it fit perfectly like a puzzle so after you trace the triangle trace the part of the triangle that's inside of the square copy and paste the square and paste it to the front you can go edit copy copy the square and then edit paste paste to the front and then you hold shift and then you click on the triangle so now the triangle and the square are selected and highlighted then you can go to the pathfinder tool and then click intersect so now you have a perfect triangle that fits within the square and then you can also fill the triangle with a color so now we're going to start drawing the collar the collar it's going to be equivalent to the triangle and then the half of the jacket that's already traced is equivalent to the square we'll trace the inside of the collar within the half of the jacket then we'll copy and paste the the jacket the half of the jacket outline paste it to the front and then you can hold shift and then click on the collar go to the pathfinder tool and then click intersect now you can fill it in with like a yellow color and then it fits perfectly like a puzzle piece so we do the same thing with the back of the collar we'll just trace everything inside the half of the jacket outline and then we copy and paste the half of the jacket outline and then paste it to the front and then hold shift select and highlight the back of the collars now both are selected and then go to the pathfinder and hit intersect so now we'll go and do the top part of the collar so we'll go around trace the inside of that main collar then you copy and paste the whole collar and then paste it to the front and then you select the top of the collar so now both of them are highlighted and then you go to pathfinder and then click intersect now you can fill in the top of the collar yellow and then fill the the main part of the collar blue and they all fit perfectly there's a problem the back of the collar overlaps the top of the collar so what you'll do is select both the back of the collar and the top of the collar and then you're going to click the shape builder tool and then you're going to drag from the top of the collar to the back of the collar so it doesn't overlap but that separates the back piece from the, the top of the collar piece so now we'll just do the same thing or we'll trace the sleeve the sleeve is equivalent to the triangle and then the half of the jacket is equivalent to the square with the sleeve you'll select half the half of the jacket and copy and then you'll paste it to the front after you paste it to the front then you'll hold shift and then select the sleeve and then go to the pathfinder tool and then click intersect so now you have a separate piece that fits into the half of the jacket outline and i'll just fill it in with a blue color so now we can work on the cuff so there's no ribbing in the cuff i just want to do an example because someday in the future you'll probably have to draw a rib so same thing you draw the shape of a cuff just draw the inside the cuff inside of the sleeve then you copy and paste the sleeve and then paste the sleeve to the front and hold shift click on the the cuff ribbing so now you have both items selected and then you can go to the pathfinder tool and click intersect now you can make the ribbing within the cuff to do that make a straight line and then go to stroke panel go to weight and then click 60 select the dash line for dash put one point and then gap three points click enter and then now you have ribbing now i'll just copy and paste the cuff outline and then drag bring in the rib and then we'll copy and paste the cuff outline and then paste it to the front but make sure it's on top of the ribbing you select 
you'll hold shift command and then and the right bracket tool to bring it to the top or you can click object arrange bring to the front and then you're gonna hold shift and then click on the ribbing so you have the both items selected and then you hit command seven You can also create the bottom of the rib if you want. After you draw inside the, the cuff outline, then you make a copy of the cuff and then paste it to the front. And then hold the hold shift and then click on the, the bottom of the rib circle. Go to the pathfinder tool and then click intersect. And then you can uh, adjust the points and the curve. Now we can make the snaps on the jacket. You can select in the tool menu the eclipse tool hold shift and then drag and then you can copy and paste the circle a quick way to instead of copy and pasting you can click on the circle and then hold option and then just drag do that to all the snaps on the jacket so now we can do the zipper so we'll just trace the zipper we can select we can go to stroke and then the weight select three points check the box that says dash line select one point for dash and then three point for gap and then now you can draw the zipper you just draw half of the zipper trace the top part of the zipper once you have half of it drawn then you can copy and paste you can click on the reflect tool in the toolbar select vertical and then hit ok you can click on the outline box drag the red color of the outline to the fill you'll go to the pathfinder click merge you'll drag now the fill drag the red color to the outline and then remove the fill color and then now you can just change the stroke weight change it to like a 0.25 so yeah you can just keep drawing the rest of the zipper so like with this part of the, the zipper you can just instead of going point by point you can go on the toolbar and select the rectangle tool so it'll be faster and then do the same thing for the other part of the zipper go to the rectangle tool and do the same thing for the, the welt pocket the rectangle surrounding the zipper and then you can draw a, or a vertical line to construct a zipper go to stroke select a weight of five or check the dash line box type in one point for dash and then for one for gap and then hit enter and then you can do the same thing for the bottom of the zipper select the rectangle tool in the toolbar the center of the zipper you can just draw a straight line through the center you can hide the jacket layer since it's on layer one you can just click on the eyeball and then you can draw another rectangle go to the rectangle tool drag a rectangle around the zipper So now for the pocket, you'll draw half of the pocket and go point by point, tracing half of the pocket. And then you're going to copy and paste the pocket. Go to the toolbar and click the reflect tool, select vertical, and then you're going to overlap the two shapes. Click the outline tool, drag that red outline color to the fill. So both fill and outline will be red. You can go to the pathfinder tool select merge click on the pocket remove the fill you can drag the red fill color to the outline so the outline will be red so with the waistband trace the inside of the waistband within the half of the jacket copy and paste to the front the half of the jacket hold shift click on the waistband and go to pathfinder and intersect so now you can have a separate piece for the waistband You can just trace the belt loops. The belt loops done, you can draw the top stitching all over the jacket and just go point by point and just trace where you see top stitching. You can go to stroke, select 0.25 for the weight, check the dash line box, two points for the dash, and two points for the gap, and then click enter. The top stitch, you can do the same thing for the top stitching on the sleeve the zipper in the pocket, the welt pocket, the pocket flap. You can draw half of the, the top stitching. Go to the toolbar and then hit reflect. 
and then you can join the points of the two lines you just made do the top stitching for the waistband and do the same thing for the front and the belt loops draw the top stitching for the cuffs you can hide the layer to see where you're what you have so far click on layer one and click on the eye so now you'll copy the half of the jacket everything you've drawn i changed the outline of black you can just edit and fix the vector points if it's like crooked so now we'll select the zipper and we'll just fill it with a gray color To remove points, you can, or you can select delete anchor point tool in the pen tool menu so you can have a smoother line. The next thing I normally do for accessories on a jacket that has multiple parts like the zipper, I'll just group it together. Highlight all the parts of the zipper by holding shift and then clicking each piece. Or you can just like, just highlight the whole thing, right click and then group. So then I filled the half of the jacket with the gray color and then I grouped it and then I selected the whole jacket and grouped it and then I copied and then pasted the half of the jacket go to the toolbar and then click reflect and then you can just layer the jacket on top of each other since the left side overlaps the front left overlaps you can you can select shift command right bracket or you can just go to object transform object arrange and then bring to front so now the front left is overlapping the front right piece my front right i took out the i took out the outline and i took out the outline for the the front left as well now i can draw all the other elements on the on the right side of the jacket you can copy paste the zipper So now we're going to ungroup all the parts of the jacket. I took out the, the outline of the jacket on both sides. Copy and paste the outline of the jacket. We're going to drag the black outline to the fill so everything's all black. And then we're going to go to the Pathfinder tool and then click Merge. We'll take out the fill color so we'll just have a black outline now we have one piece for the outline of the jacket we have half of the jacket outline to make the lining of the jacket we need to the half of the jacket outline we need to pull the vector points to the collar and then we're going to use the shape builder tool to to separate the shapes And then the back collar, you can hold shift and select both the, the back of the collars. Use the shape builder tool and just drag through the collar. So it'll be one piece. And then you can go to, you can delete the anchors on the top of the top of the collar by going to the delete anchor point tool in the, in the toolbar. Now you can take the outline of the jacket, the half of the jacket, go in the tool menu and hit reflect. So now you have the right side. So I filled it in with the yellow color. So now we can draw the inside of the lining of the jacket. We'll just draw around the lining and then we'll copy and paste the outline of the whole jacket and then bring it to the front and then hold shift and then click on the, the lining of the jacket. And then you're going to go to Pathfinder menu and click intersect the lines that are overlapping the collar then we'll just use the shape builder tool and just drag for all parts of the collar we'll just same thing we'll highlight use a shape builder tool and then drag to separate the pieces so now we have each piece you can separate each piece so now i filled the lining purple then i you can just delete the random anchor points. 
can fill the back of the collar green. And then don't forget to save. Make the whole jacket blue. And a shortcut to do it, to color the jacket quick, is to use the white arrow direct selection tool. You can click on the yellow part and highlight it. Click on the eyedropper tool by hitting the I key. And then you can hover over the parts of the blue of the jacket. Click and then it'll turn the collar blue. And then you can just color the color the snaps. Bring the zipper to the front 